Hello, my name is Monty Wilkinson, and it's my honor to serve during this period as the Acting Attorney General. Welcome to the Department of Justice 2021 Black History Month Observance Program. This is one of several Equal Employment Opportunity Special Emphasis programs sponsored by the Department. These programs provide a forum for us to share our history and experiences and to learn more about the rich diversity within the department's workforce. Embracing this diversity, engaging with each other, sharing perspectives, overcoming perceptions and stereotypes, and getting to know one another makes us better individuals, better colleagues, and makes the department a stronger institution. Negro History Week, the precursor to African American History Month, was created in 1926. It was the brainchild of Dr. Carter G. Woodson, a Harvard-trained historian and other prominent black Americans. The event was first celebrated during a week that encompassed the birthdays of both Abraham Lincoln and Frederick Douglass. Its intent was to raise awareness of the significant contributions of black Americans. In 1976, which coincided with the 50-year anniversary of Negro History Week and the nation's bicentennial, the celebration was expanded to a month. At the time, President Gerald R. Ford urged Americans to seize opportunity to honor the too often neglected accomplishments of black Americans in every area of endeavor throughout our history. Every president since then has issued a proclamation officially designating the month of February as Black History Month. Each year during the month of February, the department recognizes the enormous contributions of black Americans to our nation and to the important work of the department in support of its vital mission. The national theme for this year's Black History Month is the black family, representation, identity, and diversity. The theme invites us to reflect upon the important role that the black family has played in shaping the history and lives of Americans. Shortly, you will hear from Calvin K. Hodnett, a senior management analyst with the Office of Community Oriented Policing Services, and Onisha S. Herring, a trial attorney with the Civil Rights Division's Housing and Civil Enforcement Section. Ms. Herring also serves as the chair of the DOJ Association of Black Attorneys, also known as DOJABA. On a final note, we thank the Justice Management Division, Equal Employment Opportunity Staff, and Department Component EEO Offices for coordinating programs and activities throughout the year in support of equal employment opportunity, a diverse workforce, and an inclusive work environment. Thank you all for your ongoing commitment to the Department of Justice and the public we serve. I've been a DOJ for over 20 years at the COPS office, Marshal Service, FBI, Blacks in Government, and elite graduate. In all my life, Black History Month has always been a time of remembrance and a time of hope. Think of it this way, just six to seven generations ago, my ancestors survived being chained in the bottom of a disease-infested ship during the Middle Passage, lost their language, customs, and traditions, picked up the English language as best they could, while working free of charge from sunup to sundown as they watched their women rape and babies sold, couldn't choose their own names, no birth certificates, no heritage of any kind, survived the Civil War, Jim Crow, KKK, to enter into sharecropping. I am only one generation from a farm. So here I am in the Department of Justice, working to address the same issues that my family has survived. Racism, sexism, discrimination, hate, violence, horrible things that don't seem to die. As Martin Luther King said, injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. So I spend my days doing my part to make this country what God wants it to be, addressing the needs of our communities wherever they may be, I've been blessed to visit almost every state in the union, serving, doing my part. Black History Month is also a time of hope. Nietzsche said, that which does not kill us makes us stronger. 
You see, this is a reminder that I come from a long line of survivors, people who overcame and have overcome, people who saw hope in a hopeless time, saw light in the midst of darkness, and saw a future when tomorrow wasn't promised. Every African American in this country has overcome. I'm not a servant, I'm a leader. I'm not a victim, I am the victor. So I come out of February energized, ready, because it shows that black history is American history, that our hopes are deeply rooted in the American dream. Good day. My name is Onisha Herring. I am a senior trial attorney in the Civil Rights Division, Housing and Civil Enforcement Section. I am also chair of the DOJ Association of Black Attorneys, DOJABA. Thank you to Acting Attorney General Monty Wilkinson and the Justice Management Division for the opportunity to speak today. Carter G. Woodson, the father of Black history, once said that racial prejudice is merely the logical result of tradition, the inevitable outcome of thorough instruction to the effect that the Negro has never contributed anything to the progress of mankind. In response, he established Negro History Week to ensure that black children learned about the often untold history and achievements of black Americans. The week was later extended to what we know as Black History Month. Black History Month is an opportunity for our nation to honor the tremendous contributions of black Americans. For me, it is a time to pay homage to my ancestors by acknowledging the pain and inhumane treatment that they experienced while also celebrating their bravery, strength, and resilience. It is also a time to give thanks to the pioneers before me and bask in the glory of black excellence through learning and teaching the next generation about the achievements of black people in every field of the human endeavor. Black History Month is also a time to recognize the real challenges that so many black men and women continue to face today and provides an opportunity for me to renew my commitment to the plight for racial justice and the duty I have to use my skills, talent, and privilege to pave the way for the next generation of black leaders. Since 1619, Black Americans have played a critical role in the creation and the development of this country. Through our laborious work in agriculture in the South and textile work in the North, Black Americans literally built the foundation that our country stands on. Through our innovation in science, medicine, education, business, arts, technology, and law, Black Americans helped shape American culture and society in every way. Through our work to obtain equal rights, Black Americans have pushed and continue to push America to be the democracy that its forefathers stated in words, but negated in action. The stories about Black leaders, activists, inventors, and scholars that we commemorate during Black History Month help humanize us as a people, which in turn affirms that Black lives not only matter, but Black lives should be appreciated, celebrated, and honored. While Black History Month remains an important time for reflection, a month by no uncertain terms can compensate for the everyday and lifelong learning of Black history. The wealth and the breadth a black history can't possibly be captured in 28 or 29 days and must be meaningfully integrated into American history and society at every level. Despite years of oppression and disenfranchisement, like dust, we still rise. I stand before you as counsel for the United States of America. Three generations removed from slavery, one generation removed from family illiteracy, one of the first college graduates, and the first attorney in my family. I am my ancestors' wildest dream indeed. 
May the legacy continue.